Breaking today, let the negative campaigning begin. We've entered a new and nastier chapter in the brewing feud between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Today in Iowa, Senator Clinton took another swipe at Obama's lack of experience on the domestic front, as she calls it, saying, quote, there is one job we can't afford on the job training for our next president. That could be the costliest job training in history. Every day spent learning the ropes is another day of rising costs, mounting deficits, and growing anxiety for our families, and they cannot afford to keep waiting. Well, today, also making the rounds in Iowa, Senator Obama took exception to that. I am happy to compare my experiences to hers uh, when it comes to the economy. I, I, my understanding was that she wasn't Treasury Secretary uh, in the Clinton administration. Mark Murray is NBC News political director. Uh, and Mark, can we safely say that the gloves are officially off between the gloves, these two? The gloves are officially off. It's on. The heat is up. Uh, 45 days until the Iowa caucuses right now. And you're seeing the, the candidates on both the Republican and Democratic side stepping things up, uh, not only on the attacks, but also when it comes to staff, advertising. The, get, the battleground is Iowa right now. And these folks, the, the, the heat the heat has been turned up uh, in Iowa. How much? How many degrees? Uh, I, I would say uh, 300 right now. We'll get up to 450 later on. Wow, that's that's pretty hot, all right. Clinton's campaign has suggested that Obama fell into a Republican trap on this and is using it to deflect attention away from a poor performance in the last debate. So I guess the spin machines are in full gear as well. Well, they certainly have. The, the Clinton campaign ended up seizing on a uh, Bob Novak column over the weekend in which uh, uh, it was asserted that uh, there was some damaging information about Barack Obama. The Obama campaign and Obama himself got very testy over uh, the alleged report and the Clinton campaign said uh, the Obama folks are following into the same old trap that's doomed uh, uh, Democratic candidates in the past. But what I kind of think that you did see, you're right, that the Obama campaign, I think, wanted to change the subject just a little bit from the debate. And I think that they succeeded in some respect. We're talking about this instead of the debate. And the debates really was only a two or three day story as opposed to the Philadelphia debate that Brian Williams and Tim Russert moderated, which turned into almost a two week story for the Clinton camp. But you're also seeing that. Uh, Barack Obama is trying to demonstrate his toughness here, that uh, they're not going to be swift boated, even uh, when it's a, probably a minor column by a Republican columnist like Bob Novak. Yeah, it wasn't so long ago Barack Obama was talking about how he didn't want to run a negative campaign. Now we have uh, Senator McCain over on the GOP side saying much the same thing. Is it virtually impossible in this day and age not to get tough on the campaign trail, not to look sometimes like you're being negative, even if you argue, I'm not being negative, I'm just responding. This is politics, and sometimes politics involves people having to contrast their stances on issues, what they represent, and sometimes that uh, means going a little bit negative. Uh, and that's what we're seeing, and uh, it will only get hotter from here on out. All right, well, put on the asbestos, as uh, Hillary Clinton <laughs> said she had on the other night. Mark, good to see you. Good to see you, Chris. And